Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car slam and glitched background effect very easy in After Effects. First of all let's scroll to the second clip and then duplicate it. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the duplicated layer and then right click on it. Go to time and select freeze frame. Now go 30 frames backward. Hold shift and press page up on your keyboard three times. Move that froze layer there. Now scroll forward where the second clip starts from and cut and delete this froze layer there. Right click on frozen layer and select pre-compose. I will rename it to frozen and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now let's select a pen tool and mask the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, scroll to the end of the frozen layer and press P on your keyboard, then click on position stopwatch icon. Now scroll to the very beginning of frozen layer and move the position all the way up. Now select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. And yes, make sure your graph type is set on edit speed graph. Now let's close graph editor and make sure to enable motion blur on frozen layer, then let's check it. Nice, slam effect is done and now let's make glitchy background effect, but to make this effect you will need a paid plugin called Glitchify. In case if you don't have it yet, you can feel free to DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. I promise, you will be happy with my message. Apply Glitchify plugin on your second clip, then under the Glitchify expand image glitch and toggle it off, then expand color glitch and toggle it off as well. Now close both and then expand channel glitch, then expand channel split and channel scale. Make sure to toggle on vertical and change speed multiplier to zero, then change horizontal amount to zero as well. Now if we change offset you will see that we can control the glitch effects position, but let's set it to zero for now, we will change it later. Let's increase scale until you are happy with it, then expand advanced, now expand channel scale and toggle on fill gaps. That looks cool to me. Now I will slightly increase the offset so I can see it better. Now make sure you are at the beginning of your second clip and then click on Glitchify Amount Stopwatch icon. Now scroll forward a bit and then change Glitchify Amount to zero. Let's quickly check it. And now we can control glitchy effect by changing the offset until you will be satisfied with the effect. In my case I will set offset to around 60 and then change scale to 80. That looks way better to me now. Press U now and then select both keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. That's way better. Let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.